Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com Today we're reviewing an app known as Clock So here's Clock, that's Clock with a K by the way There's multiple apps in the App Store named Clock But this is the Time Zone Converter widget So for my line of work Knowing what time it is around the world is really key. And being in Japan, I need to know a lot about what time it is in the West Coast, the East Coast, the UK, etc. Especially because I work with clients who are worldwide. And for example, they'll tell me I need to set up a meeting at 2 p.m. You know their time locally, so 2 p.m. San Francisco, 2 p.m. New York. And I need to know what time that is for me. And of course, you can do this in Google. You can do this somewhat with clocks. You can set up multiple clocks in the iOS app. However, Clock does this beautifully and it adds a great widget system to your notification center that makes this really simple and easy. It's just one of those really great essential utilities if you deal with time zones in any capacity. So once you install the app, you can launch it and they'll give you the settings to add in clocks here. You simply hit the plus button in the top right to add in any of the cities that you want to add. As you can see here, I have West Coast, East Coast, and the UK because those are the three time zones I deal with primarily. You'll see the times displayed, of course, and then the minus one symbols represent whether or not they're a day behind or ahead. Being in Japan right now, it's Monday, for example, in New York and San Francisco, it's still Sunday, so it represents that by showing a minus one. I can choose to order it from west to east if I desire there, or just uncheck it and have it in my own manual order here. And at the very bottom, I can decide whether or not I want the widgets to show an analog or digital. So I prefer digital just because it's at a glance, I know what time it is automatically, I don't have to try to read it. Uh, off the bat, especially if you have multiple clocks, it's a little bit smaller with the analog. Now you need to set up your clock widget. Swipe down into Notification Center and swipe to the very bottom here, and you'll have this Edit button. This will allow you to go ahead and add widgets that aren't currently in use. So for example, you're going to want to take clock and then drag it all the way to wherever you want it as such. And for me, I prefer it at the top because it's the, one of the first things I want to see when I swipe down for Notification Center. So automatically, I get a glance of all the times around the world. So San Francisco, London, Japan, and New York, or the East Coast and West Coast. And if I want to convert time, I simply tap on the location of which I want to set the time to. So again, let's say somebody in the UK asked me to have a meeting with them at 12 p.m. their time. So I'm going to tap on this AM symbol, switch it to PM, and then I'm going to tap on 12. And as you can see here, it switches it 12 London time is 8 p.m. locally for me, 7 a.m. in New York, and 4 a.m. in San Francisco. That simple, that easy. And that's what I really, really like about Clock. Quick glance, converts the time by swiping down anywhere within iOS. That's the best part about it since it's a notification center. I don't have to jump into the app specifically. I can just swipe down, get a frame of what time it is somewhere. Also, I can convert time on the fly simple, easy, and fast. And that's what makes Clock so great and useful. The only bugs I've noticed while testing is at times there will be points where it doesn't show that plus or minus symbol, or I have to refresh the uh, clocks within the app to get that to show the minus symbol or plus symbol to represent a day behind or ahead. But ultimately, that line of margin isn't really important to me. I know it's either a day behind or ahead or in the world. It's never going to be more. Uh, so I don't have to worry too much about that. As long as the times are right, as long as the conversion is right, then I'm perfectly fine with what the app has to offer. And it's completely free, so you have nothing to lose. I give it two thumbs up. Definitely worth downloading from the App Store. Again, Clock, that is K-L-O-K. Hope you enjoyed this quick review of this utility that I've been really enjoying lately. Again, show your support by hitting that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on your own feedback. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and head over to digitaldojos.com for more content. Thanks for watching.